Europa, 1924. The Ternuzan Continuation War is still raging, however the Ternuzans have managed to retake some of their land from the Empire, whom attacked them despite having a peace treaty in place that had yet to expire. Within the past year, Ternuzan has managed to recapture their capital, Motling, but have yet to recapture any coastline. Vital to that push was the Blakewell, a modified Imperial light tank refitted to use the Cry 114mm howitzer and had better armor. The Blakewell, being heavily armored, was more than a match for the Imperial light tanks, with one instance of a single Blakewell taking on five enemy tanks single-handed. When they recaptured the city of Motling, it was in shambles. Rubble everywhere. Collapsed buildings, people still inside. The Imperials were merciless to the civilians, with reports saying that they rounded up any civilians they found and either shot them or sent them off as slaves. Any civilians who resisted were shot on sight and their families and homes destroyed. The only functional factory in the newly recaptured area was a lawnmower factory south of the capital. The officers that inspected the factory determined that all they could produce in it were tankettes due to the production lines being able to carry a maximum weight of 10 tons at best, though under severe stress. So, the officers asked the Queen if they could make tankettes for scouting and ambushes, and she gave them her permission to do so. Soon after, they gathered together several engineers to discuss what they'll be building next. Let's take a look at how that meeting went. Hello everyone! I'm Sergeant First Class Julieta, and I'll be giving you all the information you'll need. First, I'm glad everyone made it here safely. Second, after we recaptured our capital, we discovered a working lawnmower factory, suitable for making tankettes. And now for how we're going to make the tankettes. The design must be under 10 tons and with the maximum length being 4.5 meters and the maximum width being 2 meters because that's the most the factory production line can handle. But the lighter the better because 10 tons puts a lot of strain on the production line. Sergeant Julieta, you are under arrest for negligence of duty. You will come with me without speaking. I have Bob here to replace you for now. Now get a move on. Sorry for the abrupt change, everyone, but I'll be taking over for now. Let's see here. Going off of her notes and what I overheard, it looks like I need to pick up here. Uh, the only gun we can put on such a small vehicle is the Cry 37mm anti-tank gun. For the engines, we have had civilians donate some motorcycle engines lately, uh, so we'll be using those. Uh, they're called the Cry V2A and Cry V2B, of which mostly V2Bs have been donated. Uh, the tankette must have at least 100 liters of fuel inside of it. If you want, you can make the vehicle open-topped. Uh, that seems to be everything, so good luck and may fortune be with you.